Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebraic equation solution from here? And what we have here, I label this as equation one and this as equation two. And from equation one, we make y the subject by taking x to the other side, and we have y equals to six minus x. And also from equation two, which is x times y equals to 6. Substitute the value of y here and this becomes x times 6 minus x equals to 6 here. And from here, x open this bracket. We open this bracket and we have 6x minus x square equals to 6 from here. Then when we rearrange here, we have minus x square plus 6x and we take 6 to this and we call minus 6 equals to 0 here. Then from here, multiply through by minus 1. Multiply this through by minus 1 here. What we have become plus x square. We have minus 6x and plus 6 equals to 0 here. Then here we have a quadratic equation. We are here equals to 1, b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 6. Apply the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And this here we have x equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of Minus 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6 all over 2 times 1. That is here we have x equals to minus times minus as plus. That is we have 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square equals 36 and minus 4 times 1 times 6. We have 24, then all over 2 here. Then, next step here, we have x equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 24, give us 12, then over 2 here. Also, we can write 12 as 4 times 3. At this here, we have x equals to 6 plus or minus root. 4 times 3 all over 2. Then this follows when we have root a times b, which can be written as root a times root b. This here we have x equals to 6 plus or minus root 4 times root 3 over 2. Then this become x equals to 6 plus or minus root 4 that's 2. And root 3 all over 2 here. Then from here, I separate this and we have x equals to 6 over 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 over 2. Now this, this becomes x equals to 6 over 2 plus 3 plus or minus. Here to cancel each other, we have root 3. And here we have two possible values of x. First one, x1 equals to 3 plus root 3. Or we have x2 equals to 3 minus root 3. Then, here we get the corresponding value of y from the equation y equals to 6 minus x. At this here, we have y1 becomes. 6 minus x1, which is 3 plus root 3. Minus, open this bracket, we have y1 equals to 6 minus 3 and minus root 3, which implies we have y1 equals to 6 minus 3, that's 3, and minus root 3. At this, we have the first set of solution x1, comma y1, here equals to 3 plus root 3 comma 3 minus root 3 
Then also, finding the second value of y, that is y2 equals to, using the same relation, we have 6 minus x2, which is 3, minus root 3. Minus open this bracket, we have y2 equals to 6 minus 3 plus root 3. This is we have y2 equals to 6 minus 3, that's 3, then plus root 3. Also, we have the second set of solution x2 comma y2. That's equals to 3 minus root 3 comma 3 plus root 3. Then when we look at this solution, we discover that the value of x here is the value of y here. And the value of y here is the value of x here. So each either of these solutions we satisfy. Now when we check for what we have. Yeah, in equation one, x plus y equals to six. But this we substitute the value of x and y. X plus y equals to six. That is, we can use the first solution. X is three plus root three. Then plus y, which is three minus root three. Is it equals to six on this side? And yeah, root three minus root three cancelled each other. And we have three plus three. Is it equals to 6 on this side? In 3 plus 3, that's of course 6, which is equals to 6. A left hand side equals to the right hand side. That is, these two solutions here satisfy the first equation. And also, we substitute that for the second equation, which is given as x times y equals to 6. And when we use the first one as well, x, we have 3 plus root 3 times y, which is 3 minus root 3. Is it equals to 6 on this side? Then this follows when we have a plus b into brackets, open brackets, a minus b. is the same thing as a square minus b square. At this here, a is starting as 3. We have 3 square minus b, that's root 3, that's root 3 square. This is equal to 6 on this side. And 3 square, that's 9 minus. Square root cancel square. We have 3 left here. This is equal to 6 on this side. And then minus 3, that's 6, which is equal to 6 here. This left hand side also equals to the right hand side. Then. We conclude that this set of solutions also satisfy the second equation. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next time. Bye for now.